What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're talking about the union functions in the expressions. So what is union? Union is a, a function that allows you to take a multiple arrays and join them together. So it will output all the values from uh, multiple sets of arrays. Now, another thing that we'll do as well is it will actually strip out duplicate values so you only ever get the same value twice. So we're not literally just outputting an array plus an array, we're actually outputting an array and array with some dedupe rules in there. But let's take a look at how this works. So I'm in my Power Automate here, I've got my, my manual trigger flow and I've got some variables that I'm initializing. So I've got this uh, list array variable that I'm initializing. Uh, the first value is for a person called D, uh, Dean Herb, and the second one for a Keith Taylor. Then in my second variable that I'm initializing, I've got Dean Herb again, and I've also got Frank Bruno. So if I go down to Compose, if I go over to Expression, I'll scroll across a little bit. Uh, I'll expand Seymour in the collection, because this is a collection function, and I'm going to click on Union. So the union, as you can see here, we've got um, some parameters that we need to put in. So we've got collection one, collection two, and then a comma, and then dot, dot, dot. So what that means is you can add two or more multiple collections, and the union will combine them together and strip out any duplicates. So we'll click uh, union. Uh, we'll put it in the uh, expression bar at the top. Then we'll go in, we'll uh, switch over to direct content, we'll choose the list from our variables um, that we're initializing, and list two as well. So both of those arrays. Click OK. That goes into the compose action there. We'll click on test. We'll choose save and test. Uh, we'll choose run flow. Click done. Run successfully. So we'll go down here and we can see we've got an output of Dean Herb, Keith Taylor and Frank Bruno. So that has taken both of those two arrays. It has then stripped out the duplicate of there being a Dean Herb in both of those arrays. And it's, and it's just given me three, um, three values, three keys here. So I've got um, the Dean Herb one, the Keith Taylor and the Frank Bruno one, which existed in multiple arrays. So this is really handy, especially if you want to dedupe lists uh, and then maybe you want to parse this so you can um, use these individually to create new records. Maybe use an apply to each so that you can um, pull these through and create multiple records based on it. So what do you guys think? What do you guys use this for at the moment or do you have any plans to use in the future? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, if you could like and share my videos with your friends, that is always appreciated. Um, if you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to, you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at D365Geek. Um, so I hope this video was useful and I'll see you next time.